Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new tier 7 German battleship Prince Heinrich. Prince Heinrich comes armed with 8 380mm guns in 4 twin mounted turrets, 2 fore and 2 aft with a max firing range of 17.4km, 2 x4 torpedo launchers with a max range of 10km, decent manoeuvrability and good concealment. Now the Prince Heinrich is now out of NDA and there will be two final changes made before the ship goes live in early access in update 0.10.9. The main battery reload time from what you see in this footage will be increased from 29 to 30 seconds and the base main battery firing range is also being reduced by 300 meters. Now I'm running with a full tank build in this video as I felt the base secondary range of 6.9 kilometers was sufficient for most games at this tier. But most of all, I really appreciated the extra tank when up tiered. This was almost a 3K base experience game. So I hope you enjoy the fight. I mean, I think that's a, a pretty solid tactic when when your top tier battleship is try and be the bully, if at all possible. And Verk, thank you very much for the five months. Getting close to half a year, no less. Thank you, Verk56. Thank you very much indeed. So I'm thinking, push in. Let's try and dominate these guys. Shots out on the York. I do see him turning in, and I'm thinking if he keeps going like that, I might be able to punish him. Four pens. 14k. No sits, but we got four full pens. Thinking, okay, that's not too bad. That's a big chunk of his HP gone. 40%. And the York looks like he's committing. This happens sometimes. You'll see players, they lose a big chunk of their HP and they go, ah, okay. Now I'm in full suicide mode. And this is exactly what he tries to do. And our Skone is, is sitting there oblivious. I'm thinking, okay, the island is between myself and the York. Going to focus on the Bliska. And now I am playing a full tank build with accuracy mod. See, four pens on the Bliska. Solid damage. Thinking that might force him backwards a bit. No, I, I, I didn't push into the middle here because. The York was on my right flank. There are battleships in front and the DDs on my left. I'm thinking I don't want to get surrounded here. Sure enough, the Skone is just sitting there all this time. Reversing, York comes in. And he's a dead man walking, our, our DD there. I try, and, I try and help him, but... York just has too much DPM for a DD at that range. DD goes down. I'm thinking, oh dear, okay. I hope I'm at this moment I'm thinking, oh no, I hope this is not going to be another one sided slaughter. We've we're down two ships. Got a decent hit on the York. We've lost our Omaha as well. We're down three ships. Thinking, oh god, this is going to be a butchering. Take out the York at least. But we're still down. We're still down two cruisers. And a destroyer to one cruiser. We lose our Haida in the other cap. And I'm thinking, uh oh. I'm beginning to see the writing on the wall here. Writing on the wall. 
the repair are limited. No, you have, you've got five charges of damage control and four repair parties. So you, you have a limited number of damage damage control. Very similar to the run I overturn here and make a mistake. Take a torp which knocks out my engine. The repair party or the, the damage control party is the same as the Russian battleships. So you, you get a, a limited number of charges. There is a shorter cooldown time. I had loaded HE here for the for the destroyer. Thinking swap back to AP quickly. Juicy Murmansk sailing broadside across in front of me at just under seven kilometers. Too good to be true. Arizona comes in behind him. Thinking he's going to start speeding up, maybe turn out. He didn't actually turn out, but we're still able to... I did fully expect him to turn out. He turned out after I actually hit him. Congo pushing up through that cap. I see we're being routed on the A cap. But we we have killed two ships, so I'm thinking mm, we might be able to claw our way back into this. Take out the Murmansk. Suddenly things are not looking so grim. The New Mexico takes out the Congo. Thinking, hold on, this this game might actually turn into something decent. Carrier is still knocking around. Arizona has decided he wants to run away. Which I thought was a little bit strange at this point. Arizona is not really a speed demon. And running away is not really a very good option at this point. They can just keep firing angled away from me so we can only really pen his superstructure at this angle but we get a couple of pens and at this point I suddenly think to myself hold on a second we're actually not looking so bad here the Byron has turned he's running away the Mahan has turned the Arizona has turned they've all kind of crapped themselves thinking oh 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 we were looking really good, and now suddenly we're dying. So they, they they kind of panic and run away into the spawn. So they just kind of let us take the initiative. I'm thinking, okay, let's, let's push and chase these guys and see if I can cap B in the process. Because we, we are losing, we have lost the A flank. Completely. Mutsu is kiting away down the A line, and it looks at this point that the Ganaisa now is going to chase him. So I'm thinking, let's just use the islands, come in here. The Arizona has grounded, so he's just traversing over there. You can keep punishing this guy as much as possible. Another 7,000. And I'm cursing my decision to go behind the island here. I'm thinking I should have stayed left. Kept firing at Arizona. But I'm thinking Arizona was, is reversing so he's, he's still vulnerable. He's not going to be able to, to stop and go forward and escape in time before I get around this corner. I realize I'm detected here thinking uh oh this is this is not good that's not the mayhem Arizona is still reversing thinking this guy 
would be dead. And look at the shell grouping here. Really, really tight shell grouping. And when you get that, you can do some really decent damage. Destroyer is in B cap. And we've got the ship lead and the point lead now at this point. Thinking, okay. If we can get rid of these. The enemy team still have two destroyers. They have the Mayhan. There is kiting away down the nine line. And the other destroyer is in the smoke. I've got Hydro running. Thinking, kill this Omaha. And kill this Didi. And we could be looking pretty sweet in this game. Omaha goes down to the Helena. Thinking, torp the smoke. Didi's sitting in there. He's still trying to farm damage. I get a little bit concerned at this point with the Byron on my broadside. Omaha has torped. To myself, okay, I need to slip in between those and avoid any potential. And they run out, fortunately. I'm still expecting torps from the destroyer. He's more than likely not expecting torps from me because I've been virtually bow onto him. And if he is detected, just stuck his nose out of the smoke for a split second. Sure enough, he takes one of my torps. He's as good as dead. He's got 600 HP. He's burned both of his torps. Thinking, go, go, gadget second. Go, Come go, on. gadget second reason. What are you doing? Come on, kill me, I'm right here. I had HE specifically loaded for him. So I'm thinking this is this is this is turning into a pretty decent game. I've got hundred and thirty five K damage. I'm thinking, where is my next victim? I'm in the process of capping the central point. Mayhan takes out the New Mexico. I'm thinking push, kill the Byron. If we get really lucky, we maybe we flush the CV out. I'm thinking it's pointless going for the Gneisen now because he's fighting the Carrier and the Mutsu. I'm thinking it's pointless to go north just for one target. That's probably going to be dead by the time I get in range. So I'm thinking Byron and Ranger kill the CV. Got a Sharnhorst and Helena. They're pushing down the seven line. I'm thinking they're going to chase the carrier out in front of me. If, if he's still behind that island, he's dead. Or he's long gone and he's somewhere in front of the Byron. So I'm hoping to myself, well, okay, I want, I require juicy targets. Sure enough, I didn't expect him to be there. I thought he was much further to the left. He's booking it at top speed, trying to escape. Get a nice double sit on the carrier. I'm thinking, okay, I'll I'll deal with you later. Turn back to the Byron. I've got torps. I'm thinking, okay, let's just stay angled, sucker him in, and finish him with torps. He's bow on to me, so there's there's not too much I can do to him at this point. Except take out his turrets, pen his superstructure. Got my secondaries on him. Trying 
trying to take out his turrets again. They're, they've got weak armor at the back. We take out one of his turrets. I'm already, I'm already counting the kill here. I have him set on fire. I'm thinking, okay, he is, he is trying to repair. So I think, okay, I'll just drop some, I'll just drop some torps, finish him in style. And I get absolutely robbed here. They, as my torps are hit, hitting, the Sharon horse kills him. And I'm truly disgusted. I'm thinking, okay, right. Bye bye, Kraken. Let's just finish with the carrier. I was truly disgusted at this point. <laughs> thinking, okay, I'm going to vent my frustration on the carrier. And they, they killed the bloody carrier in front of my nose as well. And I'm, at this moment in time, I'm truly disgusted with this Sharon Horst. I'm thinking, oh my god, you are really trolling me big time here. Just, just like that lad. Just like that laugh. <laughs> but a really, really nice game. 184k damage. I mean, for a tier 7 battleship. That's pretty decent. Without ever really doing anything spectacular. Just landing solid hits. Only one torpedo. Four citadels, but we landed a lot of shells, doing solid damage all the time. I'm thinking, okay, let's can we can we finish with the, with the with the mayhem? Thinking that will work. Can I? I'm thinking at this moment, I think hmm, might be might be tiny chance to get a crack in here still. Can I? Now is just outside the edge of my range. And he burns down to the Oklahoma. Was Snip that Sharon, Sharon Horst? You definitely, definitely watching Snip, I tell you. Definitely watching. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.